He was born in 1932 and he started out as the designer for Gila Roche but in the end Valentino became the haute couture designer for the stars and celebrities alike. Clothing the most beautiful bodies on this earth, everyone was sad when he left the fashion world in 2008. And here now at Resorts World Sentosa, Valentino Retrospective Past, Present and Future features more than 100 gowns from his life work. Now here, we are going to take a little private tour to see his beautiful designs and take in the creations that are Valentino. Welcome to the Valentino world. My name is Olga Iserlis. I am the producer of this exhibition. When, uh, when Mr. Valentino had his last collection in, two, in the end of 2008, um, one of the most important and famous fashion uh, curators uh, in the world, Pamela Goldbin, who works at the Lisette Decorative Museum in Paris, um, approached Mr. Valentina to put together the retrospective exhibition. When uh, Pamela Goldbin came to Mr. Valentina to, and when she approached him to talk about the retrospective, his answer was such, Pamela, I'm the designer, I know what to do. You are the curator, you know what you should do. I do my work, you do your work. And this is exactly how it was. Pamela Goldwyn had totally free hand to do the exhibition. This exhibition is definitely not to be missed because A, we never know whether we're going to see this again somewhere in the world. Second, it's a full retrospective of the exhibition, of the archives of Mr. Valentina. And third, it's just a totally museum level, international museum level quality exhibition. Cool, so let's take a walk around. Sure, I will take you to the Beautiful red dress first. Okay. okay, this is a beautiful signature Valentina red dress. Beautiful. And uh, believe it or not, uh, this dress is from Valentina's first collection. This is from 1959. And um, a little bit about the color red and about the inspiration. As you know, Valentina red is very, very specific yes. red color that goes with any complexion and it suits every woman. Yes. Uh, the way he created this red and what inspired Mr. Valentina is uh, his visit when he was a little child, he went to Barcelona with his parents and he went to the opera house. And when he was at the opera house, he was seated very, very high up because he didn't have money to sit in stalls. So when he was sitting very high up, he went, he looked down and he saw all these beautiful ladies carrying a rose and wearing a red dress. Mm -hmm. That was the inspiration. That's why Mr. Valentino up to now loves roses, loves flowers, and of course the Valentina red mm. is here you go. And um, That's why he incorporates roses all the time into his yes, collection. Yes, absolutely. Mm. And you can see the bias cut. You see how the dress is cut. It's all about movements, volumes, colors, and flowers around it. Mm. This is Mr. Valentino's first collection, as I said and we will move to see this display here which represents Mr. Valentina's last collection. This is uh, the last collection from 2008. Mr. Valentina keeps telling the same story mm. to the world. How to make the woman look beautiful and he always creates the amazing things with the fabric, with the flowers, with the volume, uh, with the technique as well. This particular dress I would like to talk a little bit. This dress that is, is inspired by the origami technique. As mm. you can see, the, the fabric is folded in the origami technique. And this in, in turn uh, inspired our stenographer whom we brought here to, to create the exhibition. His name is Christian Bicher from Paris. He created this feature wall, looking, oh. you're looking there. Yeah. And it's exactly fo to follow the technique from this dress. Oh, again, you see the floral motif, you see the, the lace, you see the chiffon, you see the layering, yes, yes. and you see the volume, mm. you see the movement as well. None of these dresses look stiff. Mm. They all have this amazing cut, bias cut, amazing movement, and always emphasis on the waist and in details. And from the first collection to the last, you know, it looks consistent. Absolutely. Mm. Because he never changed his life story. Find out more about that story and Valentino's vision as we continue our private tour in the next clip.